A 7-inch HDMI display is a little bit expensive. But if you have an old Android tablet or smartphone, then you can use it as a good quality HDMI monitor. It can be used for DSLR cameras, set-top box, game consoles, Raspberry Pi and any other HDMI output devices. A USB A type to micro USB OTG connector. If your tablet has a USB C type port, then you need a C type OTG cable or connector. You have to use a good quality OTG, otherwise, it will not work. It is an HDMI video capture card. You can check the link in video description for this card. Usually, this card is used to capture video on a PC. It is a USB 2.0 version that is working perfectly on my phone and tablet. This card has HDMI input and USB 2.0 output. And you need an HDMI to HDMI cable like this. That's all. We don't need any other hardware. You need any USB camera app on your Android device? Many USB camera apps are available at the Play Store. I tried with standard USB camera app and USB camera viewer app. This USB camera viewer app is working good for my tablet. I will test with the Raspberry Pi 3B and Raspberry Pi 4 which has HDMI output. Connection is very easy. Connect OTG to capture card and connect to tablet charging point. Connect HDMI cable to capture card and your HDMI output device. You can see the USB camera viewer app automatically is detected it as a USB camera. Otherwise, you can open the app. My Raspberry Pi 3 is booting. It can support HDMI input resolution up to 4K. The maximum output resolution is 1080p. You can choose the resolution as per your tablet. I have chosen HD quality with 30 frame rate. In my tablet, HD quality is working good, above the HD quality, it is going slow. It is running smoothly. The touch and audio not working, you can use it only as an HDMI monitor. Now it is connected to Raspberry Pi 4. And I am trying Blender which is a 3D modeling and animation software. You can see it is running smoothly without any problem. Thank you for watching. See you soon in the next video.